In this video, we're going to go over how to make a backup in Embassy OS version 030 or later. We're going to make a backup to an external hard drive plugged in to a MacBook Pro on the same network as our Embassy. We'll start by making the folder in that external drive. Here's the external drive plugged into my Mac. I'm going to right click in here and press New Folder. I'm going to call that folder Embassy Backups. Now we can go to the Apple in the top left, click on System Preferences, click on Sharing, turn on File Sharing, and add the folder we just created. And that's all you need to do to make a folder that you can back up your Embassy to. We'll copy this before we leave, because that is the host name that we're going to need to give the Embassy for it to know which device we're making the backup on. We'll copy that by pressing Apple C, then we'll go back to the Embassy. Click on the Embassy tab, click on Create Backup, and under LAN Shared Folders, click Open. These are the four things you'll need. Host name we just copied, so press Apple V. For path, we just need to enter the name of the folder we created, in this case, Embassy Backups. Username, if you're unsure of this, you can hit Apple Space, type in Terminal, hit Return, and you'll see your username right there. If you're really not sure what it is, you can even type in echo space dollar sign, then in capitals, user. In this case, it's BC man. So I'll copy that and paste it in under username. The password is the password to your Mac, not to your embassy. We will need that password later. And there we go. Now we see the folder we created. And we see this green icon next to it because the embassy has detected that it is available on our local area network. Click Create Backup. And here you'll need your embassy password. This encrypts the backup. You will not be able to access any of the data in this backup, and neither will anyone else unless they know this password. So I'm just going to type it in there and click Create Backup, or you can hit Return. And here we go. We're making a backup. The backup is now complete. If you'd like, you can click on notifications and you can see it right here. Your backup has completed. Now let's make a recovery. We can go through the services and remove a service. We'll remove embassy pages by going to actions and uninstall. Now it's uninstalled already. We can go ahead and go back to embassy, click restore from backup and click on the folder. Restore from backup. Now we will need, as mentioned, our embassy's master password. And now we can make a recovery. It's only offering for us to recover that one service because the others already exist on the embassy. This one was the one we uninstalled, Embassy Pages. We'll select it and press Restore Selected. And now it will begin the process of bringing that service back for us. It says needs config. Now if you click through to the service and click configure, the default configuration that it will offer is whatever it was when you initially backed it up. Hit save. And now you're back exactly where you started before. Please make sure that you do backups regularly and frequently, as when self-hosting, this takes on a whole new level of importance. There is no one you can ask to get your data back should it be lost. Thanks for watching.